Welcome! In this video, we'll explore the key differences between CNAME and alias records in Amazon Route 53, and how to use them effectively in your DNS configurations. In Amazon Route 53, understanding the difference between a CNAME and an alias is crucial. Many AWS resources, such as Elastic Load Balancers or CloudFront distributions, expose their unique host names on the AWS platform. For example, you might have an ELB with a host name like lb15432.us east1.elb.amazonaws.com. This is where a C name record comes into play. It allows you to create an alias for the ELB host name, simplifying access for your users while managing traffic efficiently. This makes Route 53 an essential tool for seamless domain name management in AWS. Let's explore how C name records work in Route 53. You can set up a C name record in your hosted zone to map a domain name, like app.example.com, to an Elastic Load Balancer's host name. This allows users to access the load balancer through a custom, user-friendly domain. An important detail about C name records is that they always point one host name to another. For example, you can map api.example.com to api-v1.example.com. However, C name records cannot be used for root domains. That means you cannot create a C name record to map example.com directly to api.example.com. Understanding these rules ensures that your DNS configurations align with best practices. Let's discuss alias records in Route 53. An alias record is used to point a host name, such as api.example.com, to an AWS resource like api-v1.example.com. One of the key benefits is that alias records are free of charge and come with built-in health checks to ensure availability. For example, you can use an alias record to point your domain to an S3 bucket hosting a static website. This diagram illustrates how an alias record works in Amazon Route 53. At the top, we have Amazon Route 53 managing the DNS records. Here, an alias record is set up with the record name s3example.web.example.com. The record type is A, which maps to an IPv4 address, and the value points to an AWS resource, in this case the S3 bucket s3-example-bucket.s3 website useast1.amazonaws.com. This S3 bucket is hosting a static website making it accessible through the custom domain name s3-example-web.example.com. Alias records are especially useful because they integrate seamlessly with AWS services, such as S3, Elastic Load Balancers, and CloudFront. They also provide features like health checks and are free of charge when used with AWS resources. In this setup, users can access the S3 hosted website by entering s3-example-web.example.com, with Route 53 handling the routing behind the scenes. Unlike C name records, alias records can be used for both root domains, like example.com, and non-root domains, such as www.example.com. This flexibility and integration make alias records a powerful tool in Route 53. Let's look at the differences between C name and alias records in Route 53. You can use a C name record to map a subdomain, such as app.example.com, to an Elastic Load Balancer's host name. However, C name records cannot be used for root domains. This is where alias records come in. Alias records can point root domains like example.com to AWS resources, such as an S3 bucket or a load balancer. They are always of type A for IPv4 or quad A for IPv6. One key feature of alias records is that you can't set a TTL because they dynamically inherit the TTL from the underlying AWS resource. Understanding these distinctions helps you configure your DNS effectively for both root and subdomains in AWS. In Route 53, alias records can target various AWS resources, providing seamless DNS integration and dynamic routing. The supported AWS resource types for alias targets include Elastic Load Balancers, commonly used for distributing traffic across multiple servers. CloudFront Distributions, ideal for delivering content with low latency. API Gateway, 
enabling efficient routing to serverless APIs. Elastic Beanstalk for deploying and managing applications easily. S3 static websites, which allow hosting of simple websites with low costs. VPC interface endpoints, used to privately connect to AWS services within your VPC. The Global Accelerator, which provides improved performance for globally distributed applications. And finally, Route 53 records within the same hosted zone for advanced DNS configurations. Alias records simplify traffic management by directly pointing your custom domain names to these AWS resources.